today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this steampunk house. Now I'm going to be doing this in a few steps. Um, I'm going to be first be building the base, then adding the roof, then adding decorations. Uh, it's quite spacious, it's good for a starter house. Uh, it's even got some attic room. The first thing we're going to want to do is set up a frame. I'm going to place some dark oak. Go one, two, three, four, five blocks and place another piece of dark oak. And then connect the two together, like so. Then, we're going to go out another five blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five. And place another pillar of dark oak. Now this will be the corner of your house. You also want to do the same thing here, but we're going to do something sort of different with this section. So, once you've got the frame in, uh, you're going to want to fill this with uh, oak planks, which I will do in a second. Once you have done filled in the oak, you're going to build up seven blocks in any of the corners, uh, as long as it's in one of the back two corners. So if this is going to be the front entrance to your house, you're going to want to do it in the back two corners. So you've got up seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you will do the same, um, like so. Ooh, oops. And then you are going to want to fill in uh, it with dark oak planks. Once you've done that, just continue the frame along like so with the dark oak log and this is the basic frame and you can see the shape of the house is starting to come through now so you can see it's still pretty plain uh, and what's going to add a lot of shape to this build is the roof so that is the next thing we are going to be working on you're going to want to start off the roof with dark oak stairs you're going to we're going to be using spruce stairs uh, along with the dark oak adding a trim of dark oak around the edges uh, adds a lot of depth and color to the roof. So I'm going to do one section of the roof on camera and then I'm going to switch. So you do it like this, it goes up. So it looks like that roof over there. Do the same on the other side until it gets up to the top, like so. And boom, you have a nice looking roof. Now, within this roof, we are going to do a design with white concrete powder, like so. And there are two ways you can do it. You can do it like this, which I personally prefer. Or, you can do it like this. But either works, either looks very nice. And this uh, adds to the look, makes it look very steampunky. Now I might add, if you don't have access to concrete powder, uh, good substitutes include wool, snow, uh, any white block really, quartz I guess, but that wouldn't be good. Bone block looks nice too, but uh, my personal favourite is concrete powder, uh, but it's, it's very versatile. This is a starter house, so you, you want um, all the materials to be accessible. Uh, and then, for the rest of the roof, just bring this out to here and do the same. Okay, so this is where the roof extends and you do the same thing that you did on this side. And then you do the same thing you did over here, over here. I'm going to switch up the pattern just to add a bit and to illustrate that this is, this can be your design. And now, to finish off the roof, we're going to carry it over the dark oak. And this is where uh, it gets a bit interesting. You have to switch to spruce. And the reason we do this is because it adds uh, some color difference uh, and looks very nice. Adds some depth to the build and I think it overall makes it look much better than if we were to just continue the dark oak. And the reason, as you can see, we use dark oak here is so there's a contrast between the spruce and the dark oak. So just continue the... oh made a mistake. <laughs> I am a professional. So just continue this throughout the roof all over. A 
as you may have picked up from that clip before, I made a mistake earlier uh, where I put a dark oak block here and then did that. Now this still looks nice, uh, but I personally prefer it to be a bit flatter at the top, otherwise it looks a bit Nordic. Um, so yeah, that is this section of the roof complete. It's looking very nice. But now we need to focus on the roof up here. So it's going to be a very similar pattern to uh, the roof down there. The main difference being here uh, is that it is an even number. So it's going to be slightly different. For starters, we won't be able to bring it to a point like we have down there. We will have to uh, cap it off with an even center. So with a two block center. Um, which, eh, it's not great, uh, but in this context it looks quite nice, and if you make the tower an odd number, like 3 by 3, uh, it's, or 1 by 1 is impractical, and 3 by 3 looks bulky, so you have to, sometimes you have to, uh, come up with solutions to problems. <laughs> As you can see, the roof is complete, and the house is looking pretty good. It's a nice house, you could leave it at this, uh, but I personally think the walls are a bit flat. So to combat that, we are going to add some details. I'm going to start off with some planter boxes hanging from uh, this roof, and this will just break up the flatness and the boringness of this wall, uh, decreases monotony. Uh, you can use grass blocks um, or coarse dirt, either looks nice. If you have access to grass block, grass blocks, I would probably recommend it. I think it looks a little bit nicer. But yeah, I'm going to hang these planter boxes from here to break up the wall. Uh, and this adds a lot of depth, so it's not just yeah, flat, as I said before, repeating myself a bit. Um, but it's a bit of a repetitive process building. <laughs> so, once you have that, you're going to move on to we are going to move on to detailing the walls. First things first, I'm going to do this and this and then this just adds a bit of a it, it, it I don't know how to explain myself because I'm not good at English this breaks up the monotony of the wall I'm going to do this which adds even more depth and um, breaks up the log which is nice and then I'm going to bring uh, dark oak slab across here um, just just so it's consistent and that fence ends at something and doesn't just sort of hang there, if you know what I mean. I'm going to put a window here and take some spruce like that. And I don't have panes on me, so I'm going to get some now. Yes, so that window is looking quite nice. Um, what you might like to do is indent it down a bit, but it's really up to you. I think that looks quite nice by itself, actually. So, moving on. As you can see, there's a bit of inconsistency here. The pillar doesn't go all the way through, it just sort of stops. It looks a bit strange, in my opinion. So, I would continue the pillar through. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You can add a window here instead of having the pillar continue through. Then we are going to place stairs along the pillars as we've done across the build and it's about consistency it, it, things look strange if you don't do if you don't keep a consistent pattern going along yeah your, your brain goes that's that's strange what why is that different they did it differently here why have they done it like this here uh, <laughs> so that was very poorly worded but I think I think you guys get what I mean then you place buttons here uh, this adds a uh, bit of depth. You could also add trap doors, but I personally prefer buttons. And then we are going to do a similar thing here. I'm actually curious. Oh, I did that over there. What did I do here? Ooh. So, you could leave it like I've done here, but in my original design, I didn't have a window here, because as I was talking about with the pill, I just <laughs> I went on a big rant about it, and I didn't even really realize what I had done wrong. Um, I like to have the pillar down there to add consistency, but if you want, you can have uh, multiple windows, because we are going to be adding a window um, in a similar fashion in a second. 
That actually doesn't look bad, but you can choose between using stairs or slabs here. Then buttons. You could also, if you want, turn these into 2x2 two two windows, uh, but I personally think it looks nicer with flat walls and buttons, and it also means you can hide furnaces on these walls, or crafting tables, or chests, and the window doesn't get in the way, because that's often a problem with windows, is uh, it, it just goes to like the back of a furnace or something, and it looks strange, so you have to not put the furnace there. So, yes, <laughs> rambling on a bit. Stay here, stay here. Back them across there, and glass panes. Yeah, I was wondering why it looked strange before, um, because I don't usually put the window there. Yeah, that's correct, right? No. Yes, this is. I think this is what I did. I'm going to have to check back at the other house. This is very unprofessional. So I didn't. What did I do? Yeah, I just did that. Okay, that makes sense, actually. So, do that. And, at this point, the house is pretty much complete. It's looking the same as that one. Uh, and that was actually quite an easy process. And it uses, mainly uses wood and stuff. Uh, if you need to, you can fill in the floor uh, here. Um, and you can decorate the interior. Uh, you can... I'll leave that up to you guys. I'm much better at exteriors than I am at interiors. Uh, but I hope you all have enjoyed this video to all that are watching. Uh, if you really like the house or if you built it in your world, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.